Okay, so for Guterro's combo compilation guide, I'm going to show you his main combo enders and then the situations of combos you go into off of different starters and how it's going to look with these different combo enders as examples. He's pretty simple and pretty flexible, so there's not too much to show because there's nothing rigid of different combos you should do. He's pretty free from and easy. So the first main combo ender is going to be doing a full attack string, dash cancel into a grab. This is completely unavoidable, not by ultimate or boost or anything. So it adds a huge chunk of damage to the end of combos. The next one is doing any kind of buttons tilt special into a grab. This one can be mashed out of, but the opponent has to be super ready, but it does a bit more damage than the other one. And the last main combo ender is doing an up combo into your tilt demon skill, which allows you go for a dash in afterwards and it makes the projectile miss the opponent. So it has the post projectile projectiles that are even better than the regular projectile and it's a really good way of setting up the projectile to be awesome because often, often it'll go off the screen and just be super amazing because then they can't interrupt it because they can't get rid of it it's just sitting there waiting to wreak havoc which is amazing and here are some combo examples off of different situations let's turn that off because i hate those noises <laughs> off of an armor attack you can do neutral special, few buttons, to tilt special, and go in for a grab. That's going to do a nice amount of damage. Or, as I mentioned before, if you want to make it more of a guaranteed grab to guarantee a big chunk of damage, you can do a full attack string and dash cancel into a grab. Same applies to other red combos, like his tilt attack in the air. And his DP if he does the short version with the crumple. However, this one is really short. So you have to be super quick. And off of yellow attacks, so you're gonna get yellow attacks off of your YOLO sickle slashes, your dash ins, or just your regular button punishes. Simple combo routes will be something like a few buttons into a special move, full attack string into a different special move, full attack string, into a dash cancel into a grab that's relatively cheap and a good amount of damage however you can because there's a little bit of extra time in the combo you can add extra special moves for a little bit more damage but i don't personally think it's worth it yellow combos are the most free form because you have so much time to decide what you want to do and how much speed you want to spend on your combos and you can use all of the combo enders super super easily off of any of them and it's super easy to, de to decide if you're running behind a projectile, you're likely going to be running in and pressing the block button to go for an un un unavoidable grab like that. So a combo you can go for if you think it's actually going to hit the opponent, maybe it's going to punish some button they've pressed or something, is you can run up, press the block button, and then go for an armor attack. And that'll do a lot of damage. His ultimate can combo off of literally anything, like even the first two hits of his attack string can combo off of, which is not something anyone else can do just because of how fast his ultimate is. So you'll have no problems comboing into your ultimate. And boost combos are pretty damaging, especially depending on how much meter you want to spend on them. This certainly wasn't optimal, but it's half of Sabito's life for a guaranteed combo. And of course in Surge Mode, here's a simple time, just like Wadi Tanjiro. Special into Tilt Special, Special into Tilt Special, Special into Tilt Special, and the opponent probably dies. If you accidentally put the opponent in the air by using your Tilt Special follow-up, you can easily dash cancel and get some kind of follow-up. You don't want to spend too much meter because you're not going to get much damage thanks to not being able to get your resets with your grab or anything. So I think keep it cheap, but just get the combo. And it's good that you can get a combo even though you kind of messed up your combo. A little side note is that there is another combo path that Gutero can go where you go use your aerial special one to do these kind of free dash cancels after the special one. And you can get some pretty damaging combo routes that don't cost too much. But I would never ever bother going for these online because you see, if you try to do the like input buffering where you just mash buttons like you would online because you can't time things very well, it quickly becomes very expensive because you have to delay your dash in order to make it a free dash in afterwards. And there's just no way that you'd be able to do this online unless you have a really, really good connection because you have to visually wait for his feet to touch the floor and knowing that's going to happen to be able to hit the attack button. And although this can lead to some cool combos, especially if you use this kind of dash up after like this, it's just nothing 
that I would ever actually use just because it's too hot online. And just quick tips on the special moves you use during your combo. Your standing special is good earlier on the combos, it leads to less scaling. Your tilt special is really good at the beginning of combos if you don't know if the opponent is blocking or not. Because whether or not they're blocking, it's a really good special move because it's also really good at pressure. And using your jump cancel into a dive kick is a really good combo extender if you don't know if the opponent is going to be doing a push block into a DP. Because if they do do um, like push block and go for a DP, you're going to jump past the DP, and even if you jump behind them, you'll go beh behind armor attacks as well. So that's a really good way of extending combos if you think you're going to avoid one of their defensive tools. So yeah, those are Gutero's main combo paths. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just to recap, the main combo enders, because that's the most important part, is using your up combo into your tilt demon skill to set up your demon skill really effectively, doing a full attack string into a dash cancel, so off of any length of combo, as long as you can get a full combo string, you get a dash cancel and get a huge amount of damage at the end of your combos. Pretty ridiculous. Or you can do a tilt special into a grab. Which can be avoided, but the opponent has to be on their toes. But it does do a little bit of extra damage. So that is a short Gutero combo guide. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>